Episode hey, three. welcome back. Oh, shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the third episode of uh, Any Spam on Air. Yeah. It's, I'm here with, joined by my, uh, my guest, uh, Dinkbot. Dinkbot. You may know him from uh, or White you may Hot not, Robot. Or you may not know me, period. Or you probably don't know him unless you... You might know him if you live in Oklahoma City. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big icon around the place. Uh huh. Um. um rice? <laughs> you ever eat rice? Actually, no. Wait, yes, what? I have eaten rice, <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't in a in a long time actually because I don't have any rice here. What I about lime? You ever eaten a lime? Oh, like not not the not like lime. Yeah, I've eaten a lime. Like the fruit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The citrus. Just checking. I don't have any follow-up have questions. You ever eaten lime? Mime, like the person. No lime, like the dissolving shit. No, I don't. Oh, L Y M E, like the mm-hmm. paste. I've tried it. It's just like <laughs> I get all like chalky in my stomach, and I have to throw up. <laughs> it's not fun. I'm sip- I just took a sip of milk. Mm-hmm. That came out of the fridge. Oh. And it had an ice cube in it. Like like it. Like, like school milk? Yeah. Yeah. What I the think, fuck was I up think. with school milk? They'd serve you it and it'd be like solid. I don't know, man. How are they I, like, I never it? drank it after I tasted it the first time. Yeah, I it's it, it doesn't was, taste like milk. They put so much sugar in it. Is that what it was? It just t- it's a, yeah, like, they put like a shit ton of sugar in it. Because I never had school lunches and like mm-hmm. in high school I had basically just stopped like lunch entirely i just eat at dinner yeah so i would eat, like i mean in high school i would have gatorade and a uh, cliff bar i had one year where i would only you remember shockers those little sour candies they're like discs no what what are that wait they're like that? shocker like how you however you'd spell that oh shockers candy um dude they're fucking oh, no, awesome I never had that. Dude, what the heck? They look like sweet tarts. They're sweet tarts, but they're super fucking sour. Oh, sour tarts. But that was all I'd eat for lunch, so I'd I'd <laughs> I'd like get one from the <laughs> vending machine and just eat, eat it. Eat a little candy. Eat the eat whole bag. Cookies. You eat lollipop. Yeah, so I had like they're so sour that they'd fuck up your mouth. Like like the fucking skin on my mouth was peeling off. That that was like oh. my my like uh what what's the word sophomore year of high school I was just walking around with fucking. <laughs> peeling mouth what music did you listen to in high school I, I don't know if i did oh okay you know you know what i was into is django django you remember that band no the, you, these are you're you grew up in a different era no i didn't i'm not that old it was like <laughs> uh, it was like radio like alt radio in like 2015 mm. it was like the the um fuck was that one song Start, restart. It's hard. It's like it's hard to fucking. There's all these like vocal modulations going. On. That was like my favorite shit, and now I think it's kind of retarded. But oh, Daft Punk, dude! How could I forget Daft Punk? Oh, that... hey, okay. Well, there you go. That's... Yeah, I've been listening to Daft Punk since I was like eight. I'm an OG, bro. Hell yeah! I've been listening to uh... shit. I don't know. Yeah, in high school, I listened to a lot of uh, in freshman year. I know I listened to metal. Hmm. But that's when I started getting into rap, and I listened to a lot of... Yeah, Fetty Wap, Trap Queen. Yeah, that Fetty Wap. 1738. Uh, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Hello, sorry. official fire. Hey. Hello, Dinkbot. On my second one right now, I'm watching a bodybuilder eat a, a four-pound burger. I'm, I'm just <laughs> with bated breath. I've never been this excited to see something in my life. Where were you on 9-11? Uh, what the fuck? Um, how am I supposed to know that? I mean, I was two. I was zero. You were zero. You were you were you've never been in a pre nine eleven world. I have, dude. Yeah. That shit was yeah. dope. What, do you remember it? What was it like? Yeah, it was <laughs> like there was um pink. Everything was pink. Everything was pink. And uh, then everything was white. And uh, no, I don't fucking know. I was probably in like a little. <laughs> In like a little bundle in a, in the back room of like a fucking storage unit. In the corner. <laughs> yeah. Lock me in there Everything just with like passed. a carbon monoxide detector to make sure I didn't fucking pass out. Well, I wish I did that. 
At least I had that. Yeah. It's, thank the Lord. I don't fucking know. I was like that baby from Dexter. You remember that? The baby. And they find him in all the blood. Mm-hmm. That, that's how I was. Blood baby. Blood baby. <laughs> Plug what? In high school, did you ever, like, did you do any clubs? I did a academic team bowl. At quiz bowl academic team. I was a fucking super genius. Oh, Jesus. Now, I could still like whoop trivia? your ass, bro. I'm still sharp. Yeah, it's like Jeopardy shit. Mm. It's like really hard Jeopardy. I, I honestly. Is that you still like crossword puzzles? Well, I like crossword puzzles because I'm a born natural genius savant. Okay. And gotcha. nobody else well, can I, compete I, I, with I my with pure intellectual part. prowess. So. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I, I go all the way past retarded into genius territory. I'm like, um, mm-hmm. uh, Rain Man. Or that one guy, Dead Mouse. I'm like Dead Mouse, yeah. Dead Mouse still fucking slaps, by the way. You ever go back and listen to like the like ghosts and stuff? Yeah. Fucking baller ass song, dude. Yeah, I I mean I I'm not a big fan of House, but I do like like the House that I like. You know the that song, uh, it's time for the percolator. Mm mm. You made oh. that up. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. It was like, it's just time watched for me the percolator. Up. It's time for the percolator. Cause you know it didn't age well is Skrillex. No, I mean, dubstep is just sounds bad. Like until like in a, if you listen to a Skrillex song, it sounds okay until the drop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's pretty lit. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, D- dubstep got like manifested and transformed and like manhandled into like Travis Scott music. I don't, I don't know if that's... Do, like, that. 35 layers Wait, of sorry, fucking that's the wrong song. augmentation. <laughs> that is... That does look to be the wrong song. <laughs> Let me give it a listen, though. Uh, yeah. Wesley Willis. I was really into Wesley Willis. You know him? Oh, yeah. Uh, Do you know, like, Jim Croce? Uh, Jimmy, huh? Jim Croce? Oh, uh, the Time in a Bottle guy? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I got a name... I I don't know much other Jim Croce. I knew I know that one from the X Men movie. Mm. Which okay, dude, the X Men Days of Future Pants is probably like top five movies ever. That movie fucking rules. And like, wait, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I, you wait, know. wait, wait, wait. You said you said top five movies of all time, but yeah. You didn't name all three rush hours. That's true. I, 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 one time my friends were like, we had like rush hour three on DVD. Mm-hmm. And we had heard a rumor that there was boobies in it somewhere. <laughs> uh huh. So <laughs> we, um, we scanned through rush hour three for like lo- longer than the actual movie is. It's like a two hour movie. Uh-huh. We spent like three hours <laughs> looking for the boobs. We could have just watched the whole thing front to back and figured, like, <laughs> But we didn't. And if we didn't find any, I don't think there is any. And if there no, was, I, they probably got cut out of the DVD. It. Yeah, yeah. So it, I, I was just pissed. I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> no titties." <laughs> this is before I, kids have it so easy these days, bro. Mm-hmm. You can just have go seen... on any website. Have we seen yeah, what? Uh, they can even go on Twitch. Um. Yeah. True. <laughs> have you seen Waterworld? <laughs> Yes, I've seen Waterworld with you. You remember that? Wait, we watched it. Yeah, no. you you put it on in Discord, and we watched we like an hour it, of it. No, I didn't finish. It was a dog shit movie. What the fuck? Dude, <laughs> it's terrible. got the best, the greatest actor of all time, Kevin Costner, Kevin Costner. and that one random guy from Blue Velvet. Um, dude, come on, Dennis Hooper. Dennis Hooper, it's Hopper, bro. Yeah. I didn't mean that. He's Bowser, the guy who played Bowser in the Super Mario yeah, movie. Yeah, Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Anyway, he's dead now. He's dead. Dennis Hopper been dead for like twenty years, yeah. What? Waterworld came out like twenty. Dennis Hopper. I remember my friend really liked Dennis. I was like his favorite actor. Uh huh. And he was like, oh, "Yeah, he died a while ago." Is this Ryan? Where's to Pete? No, no, no. It's, it's my friend, friend Tyler. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Yeah, write that down. I'm gonna write. Yeah, I'll write that down on my phone. In- investigate my friendship. <laughs> um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Dennis Hopper's dead. 
Any, anyway, um, Waterworld Blue Chunks. I was so bored. Dude, you it. did not. You okay? One, you weren't even really paying attention. Listen, to it. Two, what 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 could possibly happen at Waterworld that's going to be that entertaining? It was. It came out twenty six years ago. So he's not. There's no way he's been. Oh, he died in twenty ten. So, so 11, eleven years. years. Not twenty. Anyways, um, sorry, I just had to fact check you there. So you sound yeah. Like fuck idiot. you. <laughs> Buddy. No, Waterworld is I think it's a great movie and cuz I I don't know. I've seen it like 10 times now. Cuz <laughs> I, I watched it once by myself and then I keep showing it to people, but instead of showing it to like a bunch of people at once. I, I, don't, like I don't know if I've ever people. seen a movie 10 times. No movie? Maybe Hardcore Henry, but like dude, I've never seen Waterworld 10 times. <laughs> like come on, man. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, well, that just doesn't that say something that it's it's got entertainment. I, I think it says something's like fucked up with your brain, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's like, well, it's not like it's not like I'm like just brain dead, just staring at my screen with drool com- drool coming out. Well, of no, mind. but I'm not like I'm not coming to you for a movie recommendation. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not like, yeah, what yeah. does official fire think of Citizen mm-hmm. Kane? Well, maybe you should. So I think maybe you have some. You have like a worm in your brain, like the, the seen... water world worm. <laughs> well, I've seen other movies a bunch. I just like watching because, like, even movies like Have you seen uh, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Uh huh. I've seen that movie like five times. I, I've seen it uh, once, but I do like that movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. No, I mean, but each time I was, I watched it once by myself, and then I showed it to different people each time. So that's how I end up watching them. I guess that's why I've seen Hardcore Henry so much. That movie is fucking awesome. That's a fucking seen it. awesome that, movie. Is that the FPS one? Yeah, it's like ninety minutes of just fucking murder, and there's like a <laughs> musical number in the middle. Damn. And then the ending is fucking. It's not a good movie if it doesn't. Wild. Have a two hour rape scene in it. Though. That's true. Irreversible. Critically acclaimed. That that's the thing, like. I guess that used to be like a pretty common thing in movies like like 30 40 years ago like in the in the 70s and 80s. Mm-hmm. It's like, like every fucking movie orange. had to have a rape scene. Yeah. Well cuz you know it's re- it has to be realistic. But it's like how like <laughs> what the fuck like how much rape is ha- it'd be, it'd be, you'd be in the middle of like a like you ever watch like the best of the worst show on, like on YouTube? Mm-mm. They watch these old movies on like VHS tapes. Uh-huh. And every fucking one has a rape scene. It could be called like the Star Warrior fucking rape scene <laughs> in the middle of it. Yeah, no, I I watched like um with one of my friends. We both watched like fifties and sixties, like you know, like sword and sandal movies. Yeah, okay, swords um, and sandals. Exactly, yeah. and we want like every single one has a rape scene, but it's like romantic. It's portrayed as romantic. Oh. It's like the it's like. There was one about uh, Genghis Khan, which is actually relevant to the topic. That's we'll true, the topic the of this video that we've been discussing. Of, of, our, of this podcast, yeah. the main focus, which will come in in a little bit. Um, I didn't even do that on purpose. but So Genghis <laughs> Khan, it, it's a movie about him, right? Yeah. And it's it's completely not what, how anything happened. Um, but there's a, a woman in it that no. originally, in the first like, 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes of the film... Uh, hates him mm. and talks shit on him all the time, but then eventually, um, one night, like they do a raid and he like runs away with her or something, and then, <laughs> and then uh, they have sex under like a rock, <laughs> and then he, <laughs> and then she ends up liking him. That's like how dogs have sex. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no wait, she doesn't like him, and after that, um, oh. she ends up liking him in the like the last half hour of the film well, that sounds like a real character arc yeah i, I feel yeah. like genghis khan is like not the fucking guy you know like like what do you I, mean well it's like isn't this whole thing like just being a rapist like isn't that yeah yeah whole... i mean he was a lot like hitler right except I, except he raped so i wouldn't be like well. oh you wily genghis yeah i'll never fall in love with you <laughs> Oh, well, see, this was before he blew lip. up, you know. Oh, before this is he back blew when up. he was like just a small yeah. tribe. No, and he ain't forget who he drank yeah. water with. Exactly, yeah. exactly. He was. I think it's it's somewhat factual because I think they're fighting the Tartars, which is that's tartar sauce. Yeah, that's where we get it from. Um, it's no what the way. Europeans called the Mongols for a really long time. What the fuck? How because, do you have this much? What? Why, why um, do you know that? 
I don't know. Well, so the Tartars were a tribe that the Mongols originally, it was one of, one of the first tribes that they overcame and conquered. Okay. And so, uh, like, it, like in the Russian steppe area, when the Russians were the first Europeans to uh, have any interaction with Yeah, because the, they're right there on the border. Yeah, yeah. So they, uh, they called them the Tartars because that's what they thought they were. Because they they're like, the these Tartars. guys are retarded. <laughs> yeah, that's the, 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 yeah, they yeah, call that's them a bastardization. Yeah, retard, retard, retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, that's awesome, dude. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> cool, dude. Wait, why do you know that video? Fucking, <laughs> I was on Twitter, man. Uh, yeah, I forgot now that people know about that account. Um, I don't know who that is, but I've seen the yeah. video. Uh, so. Uh, what, dude? Spit it out! So, back to Jang. Well, okay, let's skip past Jangus. Jangus. Right? Is that how we're pronouncing it? Jangus? Uh, yeah, well, that's how, probably how it would have been pronounced. Oh, whatever. Um, uh, his, you know his real name, right? Because uh, Jangus Khan was a, a Kim, title. Kim Fart McGillicuddy. I don't, I don't fucking know. No, it's Temujin. Temujin. Thank God yeah. we, got, we got that fact straight. I, you, know, you know, in... Uh, in Ghost of Tsushima, you kill a bunch of the Mongols, you kill like fucking Burger Khan and like Kim Kimchi Khan and all these fucking uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Mongols. Shit's yeah. awesome, bro. Yeah, man. That game so is based. If you, if you go down the family tree a little bit, um to his grand one someone one of his grandsons, mm. Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan. He founded the Yuan dynasty. It's a pretty hard ass name. It is actually. Got the alliteration. Kublai Khan. Yuan um, Dynasty. What the fuck is that? The it was it was an actually an official Chinese don- dynasty, but it was ruled by the Mongols. Oh, when they conquered. So they like took over like, China, northern China. Um. Okay. Yeah, but it was like a it was like twelve something to thirteen. Year twelve. Something. Yeah, yeah. It was like the 1200s to the late 13th. We held that shit down for like six months, dog. That shit was wild. <laughs> um. Yeah, ma, so... Ma, ma. I'm sure you could talk a little bit more about this with all the research you've done. Right. I did study for this podcast. Uh-huh. And I know most things. Of, I, you know, dude, the only thing I know about it is, is Ghost of Tsushima shit. That game is so fucking based. It, it's literally like... You're playing as this little Japanese dude, and he mm-hmm. it's literally racial genocide. I mean, he just kills exclusively Mongols. Like Oh shit, but not Chinese. No, because there's no Chinese like invaders. He's just killing Mongols. Uh wait. I mean invaders? by the wait. fucking billion. Billion. Wait, 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 wait. What is wait, they're invading Japan? So goes to Tsushima is on Tsushima. The island of Tsushima. Tsushima which I don't know if it's real or not. I think it is. And I think I think the 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 Mongols raided this place, uh, and I guess in real life history the the Japanese must have held them off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. Yeah. 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 It's in between Korea and Japan. I don't really know much about the real history. All I know is, I mean, this guy is vicious with these Mongols. I mean, they really didn't stand a chance. It. Mm. You know, because like. In the game, like, all of the Japanese military is fucking worthless. They're just, like, scratching their asses, and the Mongols uh-huh. are just, like, climbing over walls and shit. Yeah, yeah, as they do. But you play as this little one guy, this little five-foot-four manlet. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a fucking murderer. It's, <laughs> it's so wild. <laughs> well, I don't know about uh, Tsushima Island. Maybe Tsushima! Sushi Island. I don't know. Sushi. Maybe there was something fun out there. I know. Do you know like where the term kamikaze comes from? Uh, I I I I did. I don't know that, but I did hear a tidbit the other day about like the the like forced volunteering for the little the pilots. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I saw that on Reddit. I read yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, a lot of the people thought that they were like fanatical, but really, it was a lot of the a lot of the people that were forced into the kamikaze like pilot program were educated anti-government people yeah like kid young kids 
that had, like, some of them knew people or had, like, been to school in America and stuff. And, uh, w one of the, th well, there were some, like, fanatical people, but one of the things that, uh, I read was that apparently a lot of them were, like, like that because those were the ones that, um, because you could, if you were, uh, requested to do it, you could reject it. Mm. Um, like you had that option, but they chose it because they didn't want other people to have to do it. Gotcha, dude. Yeah. Cause they're, oh yeah, that's so on honorable. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I was reading excerpts about it. They like the night before they were like sent to do it or whatever. They would get drunk as fuck. Yeah, of course. There was man. a bunch of, and they, they'd all crash. They'd all crash in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, kamikaze, I think it means like divine wind or whatever. Oh yeah. Um, but it was, I yeah, don't know kami. if the original thing. Yeah. Kami. Kamikaze. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> but like the Mongols were, had like a huge fleet that they were going to invade mainland Japan with. Uh huh. Um, but then the divine wind destroyed it and that's why japan was never invaded by the mongols which is so literally like some fucking lost. like a wave no i mean it was just like a really bad storm oh yeah well thank the god right right yeah thank jeez god. that's incredible uh, let's see what else i've written down here it be farting oh okay, okay. Oh, yeah. how uh <laughs> how's that going did you poop last night uh you know you know what last night i had a little rabbit shit but this yeah, morning, I, I, had, I had a real fucking uh, bomb. Oh, yeah? I didn't see how, like, if it was, was sizable it or, or not. Or... I don't know. But it was it just was, like, a lot of cleanup, so. Gotcha. That's better gotcha. than I've had in a long time. That's really good. And that's that's natural. Yeah, I haven't taken laxatives. Although, that's I think I, I am going to start again soon, because I, I got a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. but it's in fucking, like, a month from now. It's in, like, 30 days. Yeah. Yeah. So I might have to Hopefully, you know you don't die before then. I have to yeah, I have to literally try not to gain thirty pounds from now until then, cause <laughs> you know, whatever. Um Dude, I I fucking I keep sleeping through my gym time. Yeah. I've been like like I fell asleep last night at like nine. I was like, I'll wake up at two and go to the gym. I slept fucking yeah, two AM. Like, I, felt, I slept right through it, the fuck? and then woke up at, like, four or five, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll go, like, you know, it's not, it's not my time, I know there's gonna be a bunch of people there, I get in there, dude, it's fucking packed, it's like, wall to wall. Damn. And it's like... Rise and grind. Yeah, it's like, at two I go, because it's empty, and I had to start going later, because I want to miss this one guy who's fucking annoys me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what the fuck... People Wait. go to the gym for the weirdest fucking, like, man, like they have the fucking strangest routine, dude. Shit pisses me off. Dude, wait, like, the, wait, hold on, there's, you said there's a weird guy? Does he, like, talk to you? No, he doesn't, I've had one interaction with him, but what it really is, is, like, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to focus, I'm doing, like, my fucking, you know, shoulder presses or deadlifts or whatever, and it's, like, mm -hmm. honestly, dude, it's, like, it takes me so much fucking concerted effort to just focus on it and, like, do my yeah. eight sets, You're, you know, you or eight reps, whatever your shit, your brain has to basically turn off. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there just trying to focus on it. This guy's fucking taking laps, like in between every set. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll go to the fucking like you know lap pull down and do like three things of like twenty pounds, uh -huh. and then like take a lap. <laughs> and I'm like, what? what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> like I don't fucking. It's like it's like mill, there's an arm <laughs> section, there's like an upper body section and a lower body section. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if I'm doing leg day, I'm in the lower body section the whole time. <laughs> I don't need to go in the upper body section for anything. Yeah. This fucking guy f taking a lap every fucking time <laughs> through both sections. It just it blows my fucking mind. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to focus here, man. And then I, I, one day I come into the leg section and he's like fucked up the squat rack. Mm. He's take you know the bar where like you hold it at uh, the squat bar. Where you have to hold it in front of you instead of behind you. Yeah. So I, I do that because I have like limited uh, mobility on my, uh, what is it called? My shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. So I do the front do one. Do yoga? No, I don't do yoga. But uh, you never know. <laughs> but so I'm like, I'm trying, I, I usually use that front bar 
And this mm-hmm. fucking guy has like put it somewhere. I don't know. He hit it. I, I don't know what he did with it. I can't find it. <laughs> and he's got a normal like deadlift bar, but he's put it on the thing of the squat rack. You know, the thing that uh-huh. catches the bar if it falls, those little metal yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's put it, he's, he's put the thing there and he's lifting off of that. And I'm like, what are you even exercising? Like, like, are you doing a bicep curl? Like, I, I had no <laughs> fucking idea what he was doing. And I, of course, I didn't get to see him do it because I go up there and I start trying to fix it. And he's like, oh, I'm actually using that. <laughs> like halfway through his fucking lap. Because of course, he's midway through a lap. He fucking catches me. He's like, oh, I'm using that bar. And I could tell there was some attitude in it. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, I was like sure, buddy. Uh, no problem. And then I asked. I was like, are you doing squats? He fucking mm-hmm. looks at me. I can tell this guy's like fucking autistic or something like that, but I was like, <laughs> he's giving me lips, so I'm fucking mad you already. You can tell, you can tell. But I'm like suppressing it. And, I, and he goes, he's like, no. I'm like, what the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> no. I'm like, why don't you fucking answer me then, asshole? What are you doing? So I, I, I basically, I'm like, I'm not going to fucking interrogate him any further. This guy's a fucking weirdo. Mm-hmm. So I just have to like leave. And I just don't get squats in that night. I just didn't get to squat. Because, of course, I'm there Wait, for... Wait, is that the only place to squat? Well, there's another squat one, but, like... Is there a leg press? There's leg presses. There's a bunch of other stuff. I, I, I got my workout mm-hmm. in, but, like... Okay, okay. I like to do the one... That one's set up so that the, the front-facing bar goes on really easily. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you just... You know, it's nice. So I don't, yeah, yeah. and the thing is, I <laughs> he like hit the bar. I didn't know like what he did with it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> this is fucking so weird. And of course, I didn't see him use that fucking thing the whole time I was there. So he must have just been like, I, I, I don't know, like leave it, leaving it there in case he wanted to do it again. Like <laughs> it blew my fucking mind. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's why I've never I never really like to go to public gyms. Yeah, my school is a gym, which is pretty. Weird. Yeah, it's like, you know, at like two in the morning, it's empty. Some nights you'll come in, literally, I'm the only car in the parking lot. Other nights, it's like I have to deal with weirdos, or not weirdos, but like, you know, they're there doing their thing, and I just try not yeah. to focus on them. Do you listen to music? Oh, fuck yeah. Joe yeah. Rogan music, fucking whatever. <laughs> you st- wait, do you still listen to like the current Joe Rogan podcast? I do. I, it's like, it sucks a lot of the time, but like... <sighs> You know, you know, he's still Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't listened to them really at all. I haven't listened to Joe Rogan in fucking months. I, I, I really think it's like his stuff with uh, Alex Jones. Yeah, I could just listen to that shit forever. Yeah, it's so fucking entertaining. I think it's like if people thought like Joe Rogan has changed, I think they've changed. You know, in a yeah. way, I, I think like. People being surprised that Joe Rogan is like interested in conspiracy theories or like uh, yeah COVID shit or whatever. Like dosing himself. With yeah, it's like you really haven't been paying attention. Like this yeah. guy's, I don't know. He, this guy was trying to. This guy was pushing a theory that uh, humans evolved because they uh, ate fucking edible. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Psychoactive. Mushrooms. Yeah, like the the. Oh, you remember that old story? Like. You know the Stone bush Street. in the in the Bible story. The oh yeah, bush? yeah. <laughs> I know that one. Like yeah. that was DMT. They say the burning bush is <laughs> DMT because, which is you know, uh, it, it probably wasn't acacia bush, and you can get DMT from acacia. Sure. Book. Um, you ever do DMT, Dink? I've never done any drug. I was talking to a girl today, and she's like, well, "I've done cocaine a few times." I was like, "What? <laughs> How? Where do you even get something like that?" I was like, "What?" Uh, I I mean I'm I'm some of my close friends have done coke but uh well one of them did it in London yeah so big London coker yeah oh yeah oh yeah he was he was t- oh, <laughs> I, I, I can probably talk about this no one's gonna watch this yeah and well, I also have a, on, I won't man. name him but uh, this is the billion viewer about, podcast yeah he was telling me about uh them doing ketamine Olympics <laughs> 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 and I was really like. Whoa, what's ketamine Olympics? And it was like, you do as much ketamine as you can. <laughs> it's kind of self explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> Mike yeah. Fart. Um, oh, wow. Try not to go into a K hole. Yeah. Have you ever been in a K hole? No. I've never done ketamine, man. It. What am I, a horse? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got something for this. The only drug I've done is weed. I had, I, I had dated this one girl for a few months and she fucking loved the weed. 
Yeah, she loved the devil's lettuce. Was uh, she like a Satan worshiper? No, she was or like a, a Hassan Abi fan. That was oh, her that like defining personality trait. Was she wow, like awesome. Hassan? Um, which is kind of annoying. But like she'd just be like, You wanna smoke with me? And I I'm like that one meme of the drained guy, like, Yes, uh-huh. honey. So I'd be like, Fine. <laughs> And I just hated. I hate weed. I did not yeah. enjoy it. Damn. Maybe it was a bad environment, but also, yeah. Well, it was my house. It was, it was like, we just watched oh. movies in my house. And I'm sitting there okay. like, it's like my brain. Wait, how old were you? When was that? It was like a year ago. Oh, okay. If that, if, if even that long. It was pro- I was probably, yeah, it's probably like February <laughs> of this year. <laughs> you were just stoned as fuck. Like, yeah, I, I, we, of, I'd smoke like half the fucking break. thing. And... Mm the thing the, the joint the blunt uh-huh. the the splizzy Wait, was it a blunt or a joint was there a difference yeah yeah a blunt is rolled in tobacco leaf a joint is rolled in paper i have no fucking idea it had weed in it what do you want from me i don't fucking know well because it's different they're, they're like very different well how is it different if one's just has tobacco well because one is it's the tobacco it's like a tobacco it's like really strong so I don't know. I, I, I don't remember, like, what's the difference? What, can you taste? tell the difference when you're smoking it? Yeah. One sm- tastes like weed, one tastes like weed and tobacco. I th- it may have had tobacco, because I've smoked tobacco before in it. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, that's, well, what it, that's what it felt like with smoking tobacco, but then well, weed came out. Okay. Do you remember, <laughs> do you remember what color it was? A little brown. If it was brown, then it was probably a blunt. Okay. I don't know. I still, yeah. I don't know the distinction yet. But uh, well, the the blunt, the brown bit is the tobacco. It's rolled. Gotcha. Like, uh, yeah, the paper is. Tobacco gotcha. Uh huh. But you could also, you know, you could also have a spliff, which is like a joint with tobacco in it. Wow. Why are we? This is the most dumb shit. You're teaching about. me um, about this drug that yeah, I hate. That you'll never <laughs> do. Again. Literally, never. I I was like, <laughs> I was trying to enjoy like life of Brian, and I just mm-hmm. fucking couldn't. I was like. I was like, yeah. whoa, and then I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck am I like? Like, <laughs> like fucking, uh, yeah. uh, what's his name? Keanu Reeves in the Matrix. Yeah, dude. Whoa. I'd sit there and try and come up with math equations in my head, and it, and then when I couldn't do them, I'd get frustrated. <laughs> like, why are you even, like, I'm just trying to watch the fucking movie. Oh my god. Because it's like, yeah. I think most people well, smoke because yeah. they can't turn their fucking brain off, or whether, like, they, mm-hmm. they, like, need to escape their head, or they can't be creative or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't fucking have that problem. You fucking uncreative morons have. You, uh, you well, excluded official fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. like fucking you people like, uh, I don't know. Like I have, I have to smoke or else I can't oh, start my day. It's like it's like people who uh, like are addicted to Dr yeah. Pepper. It's like yeah. I mean, uh, that's I mean, when people uh, to me that just seems like habitual. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like you can have, form a habit on anything. Yeah. Like people think like the habit is essential to what they're doing, but yeah. they just have an addiction. Um, I recently I used to like before like back in summer, I smoked every day, um, mm-hmm. almost like I would skip days if I just didn't. Yeah. Feel like it, but I mean it was it wasn't like a thing, but then I uh, when I went to college I've been completely sober, um, and I didn't notice a real difference. Yeah, I mean, all. it's just it's like. <laughs> I think I think the goal with with drugs for me at least would to be something that I take like once, and mm-hmm. it's like an experience experience, and I'm like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, like DMT or like fucking mushrooms or something like that. I'm like, that's that's yeah. good. I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do something mellow, like a little bit of mushroom. I I mean, when I when I do shrooms, I I've enjoyed aspects of it, but don't do it in public because that can be a little yeah I mean, what am I, what am I do shrooms like, in public for well i mean like I mean, it's kind of fun to <laughs> okay to, it's kind of fun to do psychedelics and like walk around dc and shit. right yeah yeah that sounds awesome man that uh-huh, sounds fucking is. wacky um, wild yeah uh fuck let me actually use some of these questions let's see <clears throat> what would you do if a middle-aged man saw you in public and went omg dinkbot i love you uh also have you ever had any interactions with people that recognize you? No, of course not. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> what what would you do if that happened? If anyone did it, but especially if it was like a old guy. 
This is a hard one, dude, because it's like... <laughs> You're walking home from the gym or whatever. Yeah, because it's like... I, I, well, that's the thing is I don't actually walk anywhere. It, it'd have to be like in a store. I don't really go to stores very often. It'd have, it'd have to be at the grocery store. But I wear a Do mask. Not, so wait, wait, wait. I, I'd hope I'd never get recognized. But if I did... Uh-huh. Like... I guess I'd... Um, you know, you gotta take a picture. Yeah, yeah. And I'd just try and be like, okay, I gotta go now. That 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 would be my <laughs> like I wouldn't be like, oh man, you wanna go get a fucking beer? Like <laughs> <laughs> What if they offered to buy you a beer with like, like some dude, random person drink. you've never met? I'd I'd that'd be my thing. I'd be like, I don't drink, uh I gotta go. <laughs> they, if they know you if they were gonna you, they would know. I don't drink. drink. I don't you know what, man? I drink like sometimes. It's kind of an event yeah, I when know. I drink. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm not a I'm not a what's the word? Uh uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't need to be a, a UI under the inf- You know, mm-hmm. the UI under the fart. Um, <laughs> uh, let me let me go through these questions. Okay, yeah, dude. Well, I just have this bullet point: Vince Foster. I don't know. Who I that put that is, down there bro. last night. You don't know Vince Foster? No, why would I? Oh, he, sorry. He's the guy that Clinton killed. Clint, Clinton, like like Bill Clinton. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Um, he was a, uh, he was like a White House something, some in, something in the Clinton administration. Uh, he killed you. You're dead. What? No, oh no, 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 I'm alive. no, 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 Vince, no, yeah, he killed Vince Foster. He killed you? On, like, July 20th, was it? This I'm year? That up. No. Uh, uh, this isn't like the first like half of, or not even, like the beginning of Clinton's term. Damn. Let me look this Damn, up. Damn, Daniel. Vince Foster, yeah, July, oh, dude, I'm like, oh, I got it right. July 20th, 1993. Wow, that's incredible, man. That's like, it's uh. Kind of, have you seen House of Cards? No. Oh fuck, that's a good one. House of um. It's got my favorite actor in it. House Kevin of Spacey. Farts. I do love Kevin Spacey. Have you seen Twenty One? No, I don't think so. Shit. Um. What Kevin Spacey? Have you seen The Usual Suspects? I've seen The Usual Suspects. I've seen Seven. Oh, I have. I've seen, seen Baby seven. Driver. I haven't seen Baby Driver. He's pretty good in Baby Driver. I haven't watched a lot of whatever that guy's name is movies. Honestly. I've seen uh, American Beauty too. Honestly, mm-hmm. dude, pretty good actor. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, and you know yeah. what? Oh, you yeah. know what also sucks? Like the- Brian Singer, the other pedophile guy. Mm-hmm. Pretty good director. Wait, uh, Brian Singer. What did he direct? X Men One, Two, oh. Days of Future Past. <laughs> like my, like my, my fucking like fifth favorite movie of all time. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, happy about it, but that, yeah, that sucks because I I remember I like Kevin Spacey too. Have you seen that one bad movie he was in? Uh, well, I don't know. A lot of people thought it was good, but um, what was it? Pay it forward. Uh, is that the um Spike Jones movie? Or Spike Lee, whichever one it is. Spike Lee, uh, no, is, don't all Spike movie, like Spike Lee movies, only have black people? Yeah, well, I think they primarily have black people. Pay it forward. Let's look this up. Uh, well, none of the main actors were black. Oh yeah, this is white as fuck. Yeah, it was in. It took place in like L.A. Or sorry, not L.A. Uh, Las Vegas. Damn, that's two different cities. It has the thirty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. Oh, okay, well then, I, I guess, I guess, I think I was shown it in class, actually. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't my think it's like really a popular movie. movie. My teacher was like, this movie, my, oh, dude, I swear to God, the teacher showed me two wackest movies and was like, these are great movies. <laughs> my uh, fucking, me yeah, my one. movie teacher did that shit as well, that shit was just so stupid. <laughs> he showed me that one, which was like, just incredibly boring and cheesy. It was like... It's basically, if you haven't seen it, it's it's about some young, like, gifted kid whose parents are divorced and his mom's a hooker. Mm, nice. And then he meets Kevin Spacey when he's, like, very young. Um, and Kevin Spacey's, like, a freak. 
like he's got like some burn uh, unlike real life his face or something yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah he's <laughs> well he's a physical freak right um, okay gotcha and then uh, uh somehow the mom ends up falling in love with him and then the kid is like really awesome and he changes <laughs> people's hearts and minds wow thank you good yeah, kid it's great uh-huh um, um and then he's he showed me i don't know have you seen big fish big fish i don't think so it's a horrible movie big fish 2003 um, film i've seen the yeah. poster dude it's really bad it's like dude this has a way fucking higher rating on imd or on everything okay like there's entertaining aspects to it but the it, it's i didn't enjoy it at least but i mean do if, you understand if, that if this you, movie is probably you, better than the other one then oh yeah 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 it's got ewan well, mcgregor know. yeah it's got i mean that's the thing it's like an okay movie but it's not like it, it tries to be like a be all end all like it's like a it seems like a more philosophical like tone that it's going for mm. oh tim burton it just doesn't really work the tim burton movie did oh damn that's crazy uh, he made he made edward scissorhands Ed Fart Scissor Fart. Which is also a movie that I didn't think was as big of a deal. We'll make it out. To Honestly, me. there's like, I don't really like any Tim Burton movies. I haven't, that's the, I've only seen those two as far as I know. I can't name any other ones I've seen. Sweeney Todd, Corpse mm-hmm. Bride, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, that plant, the 90 or the 2001 Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, no, I've only seen, I've seen none of the Planet of the Apes actually. Oh, you know, I like Ed Wood. Ed Wood's a great movie. Um, but whatever. You know, dude, whatever. <laughs> That's what I say to you, pal. It ain't train spotting. It ain't train spotting. I love uh, train spotting. Yeah, that's a great movie. You know what is actually a really good movie? <laughs> Tropic Thunder. I haven't seen that for. I used to watch it on the TV every like fucking week. <laughs> hey, there's a movie that you've seen a bunch then. That's true. I, you know, all, all those movies like Waiting. Dot dot dot. You remember that movie with Dane Cook? No, I haven't. Seen Dude, that. that that movie used to be on every fucking night, and I I always I have my shit on Comedy Central, so I'd always watch it. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's got Ryan Reynolds. It's it's a movie about like a bunch of people who work in a restaurant and they just fuck with customers. They just like rub their nuts on their food. <laughs> Like that's it. That's the whole fucking movie. It's not very good. <laughs> but you know what? If there's any movie I've probably seen the most, it's probably that one. Waiting. Have you seen Falling Down? Falling Oh, with uh um Douglas? Michael Douglas? Yep. Yeah. And Robert Duvall. I don't know if I've seen it, but you know, I know like the you know gotcha. Yeah, you know, I'm aware of I've it. seen that one three times. Man, you're a big fan of that. Isn't that just like Taxi Driver? He's just like... Yeah, it's yeah like I it's mean, it's like Taxi Driver, but in one day, and a little weirder. And, uh... Yeah, have you seen Killing Them Softly? It's kind of like um, that, but way less emotionally compelling. That's, it has Ray, Ray Liotta in it, right? And, uh... Fuck, I've only seen it once, I'm not... I don't know. Because you're naming, you're naming movies that I'm aware of, mm-hmm. but I'm, like, not interest like or like they aren't good enough it's got brad Pitt <laughs> for me for me like look, look at them killing them softly oh it does have ray liotta i think yeah, yeah i was about to say i'm pretty sure yeah, yeah brad pitt and ray liotta because i remember i was on a ray liotta kick when that movie came out i really wanted to see ray liotta and stuff but mm. like i looked it up and the reviews were fucking terrible damn like, okay ray liotta was in well, sin city what I got too, out of it was... that was really good was um i was sorry what you, 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 you well i'm oh. not gonna forget my point you might forget yours dude okay was uh yeah what I got really liked out of it was James uh, Gandolfini's performance. Hey, yeah. he he was he, good, man. Yeah, he's like one of my favorite. I wish he was in he's more really stuff. At, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> should get him. He really was just kind of in The Sopranos. He's in like one movie, like a year before he died. What was that movie? Yeah. Uh, Killing them softly. No, well maybe he was in that. Was he? He yeah, because that's what you're saying. Enough said. Yeah. He was in some movie, it was like Silver Linings Playbook or something like that, mm. where he played like a supportive dad or something like that. I think that's enough said. Maybe, yeah. I don't really fucking remember. But. Uh, dude, uh, Ray Liotta was in Sin City 2. 
mm-hmm. as like a guy who was abusing a hooker. It, like they had Ray Liotta get in like his underwear. You know, he's like fifty or sixty. He's like fucking fat. <laughs> Uh-huh. He's in his his fucking like these these fucking underwears that are like way too high. That it's like it's so unflattering. He looks like fucking shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then they just have him get his fucking like head beat in by the guy from Sin City. Jesus. Just as like somebody who's like just trying to fuck a hooker like the wrong way. I, I don't know. It was it was such a. I was like it's so embarrassing for like, you know, somebody who could have potentially been like the best actor in America. I mean, this is like. Dude, like, post Goodfellas, Ray Liotta had, like, the biggest career drought of any actor in American film history. Like, yeah, I don't well, know what the fuck happened to him. Maybe he was just interested in other things, like cocaine. Yeah, I, I guess fucking so, because he's in this one movie where, like, he's on, like, an island with, like, natives. He, you know, he's, he's, like, a castaway, and he has to, like, be their leader. It's, like, the uh-huh. fucking gayest shit of all time. It's, like, Waterworld. Dude, dude, I swear <laughs> to God. It's a good movie. You should give it a chance. Oh, well, it's... it's okay. <sighs> I'll be honest. Whenever I recommend someone Waterworld, I say it's a really good movie, even the best movie. It's not. But it's entertaining and funny as hell. Like it's it's, it's ridiculous not. because it's got Dennis Hopper in it. I do like Dennis Hopper. And it, okay, it's like it, it had potential cuz they were it was I think it had a really big budget and they had like all these practical it had a huge sets. budget. It had like one of the biggest yeah. budgets of all time. Yeah, it had like cause all the sets were practical. I think everything was practical. Yeah. And then and like I don't know and it had they had opportunities to do world building, but it's funny as like just they just like bring something up that exists and then it's never brought back again. Like That's awesome. and the, in the first couple lines are in a made-up language called Portra Greek. Oh, okay. And I right. think it's used then in the beginning, and then they immediately switch to English, like after the couple never, sentences. It just never bring it and back. then it's used once more. Wow. <laughs> Portra Greek. That's mm-hmm. that's big. That's huge. And there's like a drug or whatever. I think it's called Hydra. It's never mm. really said what it is. Okay. But here, here might be like an interesting like way to like gauge. Uh, your your interest in movies like what what is, what is your favorite Mad Max movie? Do you know? Uh, I've only seen the newest one. Fury Road. That Fury is a Road. fucking baller movie. I really liked Fury Road. Okay, so Mad Max One is like it's like an indie movie, right? Like it's literally mm-hmm. like he rides a bike and he finds evil bikers and then he like kills them. And this happens like three times, and then on like the third time, they kill his friend, uh-huh. and so now he's really mad. Like mad, yeah. he's mad, I, Max. I would be mad. Yeah. And and then he kills more bikers like two more times, mm-hmm. and then I think they like kill his wife and child, and then he's really mad, Max. And then <laughs> and then the movie just sort of ends. <laughs> and I think that's my favorite Mad Max movie. I I think Mad Max One is fucking awesome. I'll have to see it. It's so fucking, like... It's so... It's, like... It's not quiet, because there's always, like, this noise. Like, it, you know, it's just like a 70s movie, so there's always just, like... Yeah. Noise. Mm-hmm. But, like, mm-hmm. it's literally... There's, like, no dialogue for, like, 85% of the movie. Oh, that's And when it is, it's in, like, fucking Bogan talk. You can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> and the Road right, Warrior's kind of cool. Shuffling. I'm getting ready for class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you must do that. You must get ready to educate. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. So, nice. Uh-huh. Can uh can fit twenty more minutes of fucking fart. In fact, wait, 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 do you have to like walk somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I gotta go walk to class. You, like, is that factored in the twenty minutes or what? No, oh no, no. Oh my god, dude, we gotta wrap gotta, this like, fucking 10, thing up. Minutes. No, no, no. Dude, you're gonna fucking you're gonna be late and you're gonna fucking fuck up your education. This is gonna be the beginning it's of the just, end. No, no, no. It's it's not a class. Dude, it's like one of the, it's a rec- dude. Holy shit! You're you're literally gonna be living on the fucking streets. I didn't go to algebra this morning. Oh my fucking god, dude! It's over. It's fucking over. Um, what do you think about globalism? <laughs> I don't feel like globalism. I don't seem that bad to me. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like if you, could is. Be, uh, if you could go back in time and live in any period of time, or or end place, any location okay. and time, where would you go? I don't know, dude. Like, 
because you got to go somewhere where like they're not going to be like you fucking wimp you know yeah. like so okay well okay here, I'll, I'll give that a, a thing you would immediately like once you went there um you would have all your knowledge that you have now but then you would also have like you would know customs and language so you'd be able to fit in yeah i don't know man maybe like can I like can I like be one of them or do I have to be like a foreigner? You can be one of them. Yeah, you could be like Yeah, dude, I'm probably going to like pre contact Japan then. I'm probably going to like fifteen hundreds. Oh, yeah? Just like wear like a kimono and like live in a fucking <laughs> a field. I don't know. That sounds fun. That does sound fun. Eat like rice, rice and fish, yeah. Endlessly toiling away for some fat guy. That's fine. That I mean, if you're gonna be a peon anywhere, I guess. That seems like a fine place to do it. Because you could be like a peon in like medieval England where it's just like fucking mud and wood. Mud and wood? Yeah. And fucking like AIDS. Have you heard the Canterbury Tales? It's like, fuck, motherfucker, I want to watch Goodfellas. Get the fuck out of my... (laughs) Oh, the Sir Thomas Aquinas' new writings about the the function of man. I'm like, that guy's fucking gay. Bro. Yeah, it'd have to be wait. It'd have to be like a scholar. Yeah, I'd, I'd go back to my friends or a monk. Guys, you read this new book? They'd be like, "What is a book?" <laughs> you mean the Bible? What is this read? Read it to yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, read it to read us. Read it like, to the us. The guy that reads us. I'm, a, I'm that little fucking like panel means. that like uh, kids yeah. with speech impediments use on their wheelchair. <laughs> book, book. <laughs> 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 oh, I've got some really, really good questions written down. Okay. If you want me to just blast, yeah, through, sure, man. Just give Shock me a quick these answer. things. All right. Do you have a dream occupation? Um. Uh. A bodybuilder. If if I if you know right now, dude, I'm feeling super fucking motivated about the bodybuilding thing. Uh huh. If that if I could just make money doing that, that's cool with me. Okay. That's this shit's kind of fun. Did you vote in the last election? Fuck no. <laughs> Okay. What am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> What's something you regret or something you're ashamed of? Uh um I don't know. Uh like elementary school shit, like middle school I don't know, school shit. Anything. Anything throughout. I don't I don't fucking know. I don't have that many like experiences. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like most of my life is getting fucked over. I don't know if I like fuck anybody over mm-hmm. or like fuck anything mm-hmm. up. And gotcha. and you know I I used to regret this one thing I like I had a crush on a girl and like I fucked mm-hmm. it up in a weird way but I've I've like interacted with that girl like recently and she's uh-huh. a fucking fucking you know what's the word like egotist like mm. just just fucking well, maybe sucks. maybe if maybe if you didn't fuck it up you I could have fixed her you could have fixed her yeah, yeah. no she right, fucks she's fucking is. sucks <laughs> who inspires your creativity like what are some people that uh. Uh, oh, um, uh, two best friends play. You remember them? No, probably not. But that was no. But I think you've talked about them. That, that's like the best YouTube channel in history. And like, is that like just the uh, uh, let's play people? Yeah, sort of. They're like they're like yeah. the they're like game grumps, but like good. Gotcha. Um, and they broke up a few years ago, which sucked because it was like I'd been watching them for ten years, but w- whatever. The creatures. Um, <laughs> those were fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else? A Vsauce. Vsauce. Yeah, Vsauce. Oh yeah, dude. I, I fucking love America. Vsauce. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. In terms of real people, like, I don't really have anyone. Mm-hmm. Like, this not on the fucking internet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I, that makes sense because your internet, like, you express I'm your only the internet, the internet, baby. I'm an yeah. internet fellow. Yeah. Um, let's see what the next question is. Have you ever slap boxed? Uh, what does that fucking mean? What it's like boxing, but they, uh, you're only allowed to do open hand. Open hand. So I, no, I've not. I, I doubt. Ever, I don't think anybody is doing that. What uh, you made that like up? A, such a, what? No, it's not. I swear. Yeah, to God, you made I did that it, up. Like, I did it. I <laughs> slap boxed my friend like a few months. No, nah, you made that up. Have you ever been in a fight? Uh, I used to live in a a black neighborhood. And they tried to teach me how to fight, and I didn't get it. <laughs> gotcha. They were okay. my, they were they my friends, and they were like, well, do you want us to show you moves? And I was like, what? Am I really going to need them? They're like, well, probably not, but just in case. And they taught me this one thing. 
where I was like, this is not going to work on anybody. But they taught me this thing where they, they got one kid to stand somewhere and then the other kid was like demonstrating on his neck. He like, he put his hand on his neck and then like give him an Indian sunburn on the back of his neck. Oh my God. And like, that was it. Like, that was the whole thing. Jesus. I was like, I'm, you, what, I started to get this kid to stand here for this long while I fucking <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? give his neck an Indian That's sunburn. A good <laughs> I was like, what? That's a good move. That's effective. Like, what the fuck? Like, what am I going to do with that? They're like, I don't know, man. I've done it before. I was like, really? You've got more of the body type for flailing punches. Well, in reality, I would, I could just overwhelm them with size. Yeah. Most people. Because I'm larger than, like, you know, most people on Earth. Mm. So. Mm. If you were in China, you'd be set. China would fuck up you'd shop. You'd fuck up the police, too, because they, they don't have any guns. Yeah, they just like, got those little, like, grabbers. She's your thing, you can't talk! And I just fucking <laughs> twist his head around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's, let's fucking see what awesome. the question is. Um okay, well, uh, talk me through the creation of White Hot Robot. I don't have the time for that. Yeah. Um Are there any small creators that you believe deserve more recognition? Like anyone that you watch that's still small? Um I mean like comic tropes on YouTube or like fucking um on Twitch? I don't know. I like Blaze and mm-hmm. Fetus are doing well for themselves. They're the hardest working mm-hmm. people I know. I, th- I, j- I think Yage and like all the DG gang has like some actual like, like deserves a come up. Like Yage's new video is like fucking kind of baller. Yeah, and I like that. Uh, yeah, DG's been on the grind for long enough that I think, I think some recognition is deserved <laughs> there. Any hard time under this one? I don't know, dude. Um, uh, uh, let's see. I have one more question. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's not a great question. Okay. Um, you got this, man. To sleep? Okay. I'm gonna go to the class. You know, you know who deserves more recognition? Oh, is, is your computer? No, no, it's good. I can hear you. The, the podcast. You just it's like ended. No, no, recording. it's good. It's good. It's just the screen. Okay. Sleep. <laughs> gotcha. Who needs more recognition is Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan needs. Yeah. Needs to be bigger. <laughs> Not big enough. Yeah, that, that's all right. I guess milk. if that's... Um, oh, okay. While I finish this milk, feel free to plug anything for the one person that's still tuned in. I got no plugs. I'm, I'm, I'm You know, I got nothing. Nothing yeah, to plug. No. Uh, all right, well, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Sure, man. Um, hey, man, Be sure to check nuts. out the uh, Funny Business Podcast. Please. Weekly episodes. The views are so bad. Um, Please. <laughs> I've gotten like two thirds of the way through all of them, but nice. I always forget because like I'm always the ending do, always gets yeah. like depressing. Oh well, I haven't, then I'm glad I haven't listened to an end. The yet. last like thirty minutes is always like Kev wants to bring up like uh, streaming shit, mm-hmm. and I just get depressed talking about that. So I just it all goes to shit. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna pop this tic tac. So you're not missing out. Thanks for joining me. Nice. Uh, thanks if you're still listening. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. See you guys on the next episode with, uh, I think we'll be doing guest, uh, special guest Willie Wanks. Hooray, Willie Wanks. Mm-hmm. All right, bye-bye. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.